everyone. We are talking about a very pertinent thing right now. It's like a woman that stepped up. She's a cartoonist, a very successful one. And she uses her background of being repressed and being needed to, to follow certain rules. And she did something different instead of following the rules. She did what she believed that was best for her. And it was like her gift. So we're talking about Lisa Donnelly. She was born uh, in Washington, D.C. And she mentions that being a girl there in the 50s, 60s, wasn't an easy thing to do. Uh, girls were supposed to be pretty and gentle and soft and she didn't seem to fit in that pattern. She, I believe she was one of those little girls with lots of personality and didn't want them to be repressed. So, uh, she talks about culture and about how women are the ones that suffer the most, but at the same time are the first judges. So, for example, you need to have this certain cut of hair that were like mostly pink and have the certain behavior and the women are the ones that are like making sure that you are doing this most of the time. And that's kind of controversial, but anyway. Uh, so her mother is one of the women that were like following the ropes, was a housewife and everything. But at the same time, she didn't want her, her, her child to be whatever she didn't want to be. So she realized that she was doing something different, so she gave her a cartoon when she was a little girl. And that thing changed her life because she, she liked the cartoon and she discovered humor and she discovered how humor could be a tool for her to criticize the things that she didn't like and at the same time to be what turned to be like her job. Edward's going to talk more about it. Hi. And since her mother gave her the cartoon book, is she had the insight that humor is acceptable in her family. And, and there's two main rules that we don't agree, but we have to follow it. We're forced to follow it. But we don't have to deal with it in a fierce way. Because if you fight for it, everybody's just care about your um, behavior, but nobody's care about the issue. So instead, she used a more wise way, a more rational way. She used humor. So she thinks that since women is on the ground floor, on the ground floor in the society, but nobody really cares about their their voice inside. So if you want to make others hear about your true voice, you have to use acceptable way. So she used a humor and. She believes that as a woman, if if they have the ability to use humor, and they will definitely make a change in every human's uh, every woman's life, and including her. So she started drawing in that in the chaos. So it's, when she started drawing, is the Watergate hearing happens, and the civil rights movements, the assassination of JFK, and feminist movement. She wants to figure out what's going on. She don't know what's going on. She use she have to draw it down to rethink about it for herself. And so she started drawing. And, and, and she made a joke that in that time her family is in chaos too. So so she wants to bring her family together. She draw and want to use laughter to make her parents feel like be loved again. But her parents divorced and is her sister is arrested. So, but even though, even so, she have inside that she didn't have you didn't have to fit in the society just because you uh, no. It, it, even though you have a different different uh, role in the society, you can still fit in the world. So she follows her heart and she wants to be, become a cartoonist. And she also realized that there's not many women cartoonists in the world, in the U.S. at least. So she wants to break a glass ceiling. She wants to tell the men, the humans, that women can be a cartoonist too.
So it's in her 20s, she started being a cartoonist. And as time goes, in her 40s, she started political cartoon since she's a grown up and she had uh, made so many insights about the world and the chaos in the world. So she started throw, to throw out issues like uh, political issues or like, like big deals in the over world, like uh, racialness or something like that. So she throw out the question to make people think about it and to make people think about the role we are following. We're unconsciously following, is that right? Is that correct? Is that really important? Is it really have to be exist? So she say she also say that every culture have its codes and traditions. And at least in her opinion, at since she's a woman, she says that every woman in the world have have her the have the issues same as her. So she used us a humor way to deal with uh, fears, the fierce problem. She thinks that every woman should find her their their own way to deal with it, and her way is humor. And Alkindi is gonna talk about the uh, humor. Thank you. As we listen to the story, uh, Donnelly, uh, in order to make the change that she wanted to make, uh, she used her ability, which was uh, drawing cartoons and she adds humor on it to make it acceptable and enjoyable for people. And that teaches us that how to write, how to use the, the right way uh, to reach people and send your messages uh, depending on your situation and depending on the people that you are dealing with. And another lesson that we can get from this story is that you should not follow whatever is told to you to make, to make uh, people satisfied. You should think and decide uh, what the best thing uh, is for you. But absolutely, that doesn't mean that uh, you should do exactly the opposite to what you are told. Because uh, sometimes people have more experience than you and sometimes they have uh, they understand the life more than, than you do. So you should ask him uh, and listen to them and then you, you do uh, what uh, the best thing that you think is. And that's it. Thank you for your time.